everybody and welcome to What's in My Drug Box, episode number two. Today, we're going to talk about atropine. Atropine is both an anticholinergic and an anti-muscarinic. Anticholinergics block acetylcholine. Anti-muscarinics also block acetylcholine, but the blocking action is specific to the muscarin receptors only. Bradycardia is defined as a heart rate that is less than 60 beats per minute. It can either be symptomatic or asymptomatic. Symptomatic bradycardia is one of the indications for atropine. The other indication is organophosphate poisoning because atropine is the antidote. This video is going to focus on atropine in the setting of symptomatic bradycardia. Atropine in the setting of an organophosphate poisoning will be discussed in a future video. Contraindications for atropine include allergy and dysrhythmias where increased conduction may accelerate the ventricular rate and therefore decrease cardiac output, such as atrial fibrillation and atrial flutter. Relative contraindications include patients in the setting of an MI or ischemia, patients with glaucoma, and those with a second or third degree heart block. Atropine is a class C teratogen. The intended effect of atropine is to increase cardiac conduction to a more normal rate. Adverse effects include tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation when it's given intravenously. When it's given in excessive doses, patients may experience delirium, restlessness, disorientation, tachycardia, coma, flushed and hot skin, blurred vision, and dry mucous membranes. Atropine essentially takes the brakes off of the parasympathetic nervous system. In the heart, the vagus nerve releases acetylcholine. Acetylcholine binds to muscarinic receptor number two. Atropine, however, binds to muscarinic receptors one through five competitively, therefore effectively blocking acetylcholine from reaching the muscarinic two receptor. According to Tulane University, Atropine is a naturally occurring belladonna alkaloid that can be found and extracted from plants such as nightshade, jimson weed, and mandrake. When administered systemically, atropine antagonizes the rest and digest aspects of the parasympathetic nervous system. According to my local protocols, Atropine is given either intravenous or intraosseous. However, prior to administering any medication, you should check your local protocols first for the right dose and the right route. For adults experiencing bradycardia, I give 0.5 milligrams every three to five minutes and a maximum dose of 0.4 milligrams per kilogram. For pediatric patients, I give 0.2 milligrams per kilogram every three to five minutes and a maximum dose of 0.04 milligrams per kilogram. If you need help with the math, feel free to check out my basic pharmacology math video. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comments section below. And if you would like to take a look at my resources, those are in the description of the video. Have a great day.